Today we've got David E. Talbot and his beautiful wife, Lynn Sisson Talbot. So we're going to talk about Jingle Jangle. Jingle Jangle, yep. That's, That's what right. we're going to be talking about today. Um, they're in a meeting, so we're going to, as soon as they get on, we're going to um, keep going. But um, how many of you guys have seen Jingle Jangle already? Mm -hmm. It is so good. And I'm encouraging everybody to go back and watch it again especially christmas day i'm gonna do that they're two very very interesting people we've known david for quite a while oh yeah way back when he uh i think we did some of his first uh videotape not his first place but the ones that he, was, he has the video first movie yeah, him and his wife. yeah. yeah. right his woman his wife was hi like the byron first one. happy birthday hey byron happy birthday. how you doing we're just waiting for them to come on and cousin Cousin Stacy and um, who else do we see here? Here, Artemis, Artemis. I'm not sure if I have that right. I think that's someone I know. Hi, Ronnie. We have my sister Ron. And you're wearing Kat her and earrings. Today. Oh, that's right, you guys. By the way, while I'm at it, these earrings were made by my sister at MacArtistry.com, and my outfit, my hat, and my overall outfit is from. Um, what's, uh, Boutique. What's the name Dollhouse. of the Boutique? Dollhouse Boutique. I'm sorry, I just kind of... We're going to um, also just start playing the the song. We're going to play oh, a song? Oh, well, here he is. Oh, there. Okay, he's coming on now. Very good. So can't wait to have that. They're on their way on. Oh, that hat is killing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Byron. Oh gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, there they are. Oh, it's been so long! It's been so long! Too long! Too long! Okay, <laughs> guys. We tried to put on some, um, you know, earrings that match the hardware of the movie today. <laughs> yes, I got my magical earrings. Look at your hair! Oh, your hair. Got my journey on. Oh, so we jingle jangle now. Yeah. Bit. I tried a little bit. Let me it. tell you, we are, we haven't talked in a while, but when we tell you, we are proud of you guys. <laughs> Byron Cage just came on, especially to see you guys. Uh, What's online. up, B? Hi, Byron. Yes. We're, we're just so proud. We can't, I mean, the, well, let me get into it from the beginning. No, from you beginning. guys are an amazing power couple now clearly um you have done plays even when it wasn't cool i remember when they were calling them chitlin circuit plays you guys got the last laugh on that one um so uh, we're so proud of that and um now you're doing stuff with netflix and uh just producing and directing and writing and at and excellent just the top level and we just wanted to say hello and we want to encourage everybody to be on but you, i mean you guys start you people may think this is overnight success but this is not david david talbot hey, Mac. Thank you, Mac. what you doing how you doing Don't know a lot of people don't know our history 
Right. And, 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 and as much praise and thanks as you're giving to Lynn and I, these two power couple were <laughs> our, our first relationship and understanding of a, a power couple and oh. built gospel centric records yeah. and launched gospel centric records and changed the face of the gospel industry. Yeah, changed it. I mean, Vicki Mack was, Vicky she, she tried. Mack. Vicky Mack was flying into Bobby Jones' things on private planes. <laughs> <in the day. laughs> but it's your turn. Now. I know, but I just want to set the. Oh, I just want to. I just want to give the history of our relationship. So, yeah. so Vicky Mack and Claude started Gospel Centric Records, and they had Donald Lawrence came out with uh, with, oh. with, with so beautiful. Yeah, 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 and and so that's how I first learned the Gospel Centric because Donald was helping me with my second play, Lord Have Mercy, which starred Morris Day and, and, the, and the Clark oh, sisters. Edwin, okay. The great, late, great Edwin Hawkins was the um, yes. uh, uh, musical director. So Donald was telling me about you all. And then when it was time for me to do He Say, She Say, yes. but what does God say? No, yes. 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 Yeah, you all that don't know me from my play business, maybe, but this was back in 1994. Four, we oh, met. Four, with, that's right. Yes. And with, you, knew the family. Said, you knew people in my family, and my mother was Mayor of San Mateo back then. Yeah. And, and yes. the AGO radio. It was crazy. Right, right. Well, so, I didn't know so, so I Kirk, but Kirk, Kirk, so yeah. I wrote the play, He Say, She Say, But What Does God Say? And the promoter at the time, Al Wash, one of the promoters. Al <laughs> A big Al Wash. Big and, Al Wash. Right. 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 So, so, so Al said he read the, the synopsis for He Say, She Say, But What Does God Say, which was a story of a young pastor who is ch changing the face of, of this old school storefront church and getting them to embrace the community that was a little bit shadier than they were inside the church. <laughs> right, right. And then Al said, hey, you heard of Kirk Franklin? <laughs> I, I didn't really know that much. No, right. Cleveland. And I listened to all the Douglas Miller. I listened to all the old school, uh, Alfred oh. Walker, Mighty Clouds, I'm old school gospel. So, so I called my little sister up, Lene, and I said, what do you think about Kirk Franklin? She says, oh, I love Kirk Franklin. <laughs> she, started, <laughs> she started crying, silver and gold, silver and gold. So Al said, I'm going to fly you out to Texas. Uh, she said, he's like the gospel MC Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> So Al flies me out to Texas, to Dallas, and then Kirk is in there, and, and he's like a reverend. He had on his, uh, his jean jacket, high top fade. His his hairline was was going way back at the time, but he was holding on to it. So he was out that tight. Yeah. So, so Kirk, Kirk was like, uh, Reverend, uh, 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 I think I can do a good job. So he so I went over to Kirk's house. It was David Mann, Tamla David. Mann. Chris Can Simpson, Dalen Collins, Dale, over his yeah. house. And I remember uh, David Mann, who everyone knows as the, what's the character he plays? On um, oh, um, the, oh. Browns. The, the Browns. Browns. The Browns. The Browns. Right. 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 So David came over to me. David Mann came. Yeah, Dave Mann came over to me and said, uh, 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 Mr. Talbot, uh, uh, I think I can act. My wife says I'm a fool. And so, <laughs> And so I put David Mann in He Say, She Say, but what yeah. does God say as a character of 40 ounce? That's when he first acted and in that the Tamil. Yeah. Wow. And Kirk, Kirk, I never will forget, we showed up to Philadelphia. Uh, we were about to launch He Say, She Say in Philadelphia, and we were at the Merriam Theater. Uh, this is before I met yeah, Lynn. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. We showed up. We showed up at the front desk in this. In the, one of the the front desk attendants, who always, uh, we would stay there at the Double Tree across from the Merriam in Philadelphia every time we played there. And so she said, "Hey, David. Oh, I'm so happy to have you back." She says, "This play. I love the other plays, but this one. Oh, I can't wait to meet Kirk Franklin. I love this music." <laughs> and too. Kirk was standing right next to me, checking in. I was checking him in, oh, that's and I funny. said, "Yeah, you like Kirk Franklin?" He said, "Yeah." I said, well, do you know what he looks like? He said, yeah, he's one of them big old, you know, all the gospel singers are all big and heavy. He's one of them big old. Uh, <laughs> and I said, I said hey. and she said, he's real big, you know, because big ones can sing. <laughs> and, so, and so I said, 
I said, I want you to meet somebody. She said, who? I said, Kirk Franklin. She's like, where? And Kirk is still here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Down a little bit. <laughs> there, there's Kirk. And, and, and she's like, he, he's like, a reverend, is a sister? You know, please, please, please to meet you. God bless you. She's like, oh, she was going crazy. She, I didn't know you were. I thought you were big. And she, yeah. she said, I'm not so, big or tall. <laughs> Crazy, yeah, and then your wife it. is so accomplished. Yes, the things we've all accomplished it's just amazing. I literally, when I saw Jingle Jangle and they started dancing, I started crying. I couldn't take it because I knew where you guys started with all of this. And Lynn, where were you born and raised? I was born and raised in Las Vegas, Nevada, which is where yeah. we met, because David was living there at the time. We met in 97 and got married in 98. And, 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 yeah. and when I met Lynn, when I met Lynn, you know, Kirk and I, on that tour, he said, she said, I remember, we went to a shop in Detroit called the Funky Broadway. And that's where all the Detroit... It was, I mean, well, I'm from Detroit. Gators, Big Block, yes, yeah, the Broadway is still in his <laughs> So, so Kirk, Kirk, this is how this is how ignorant we were. The play was selling out all across the country. Kirk was uh, going crazy, and so we were sold out two weeks in advance at the music hall. So uh, Kirk called me up and said, "Revan," he said, "What you doing today?" Uh, I said, "I'm just chilling." He says, "Come on, we're gonna go shopping at the at the Broadway." Oh so, so we went to the Broadway. <laughs> and we went in there, and they shut the short store down because it was Kirk Franklin and me. And then we had to dig oh, the play. And yeah, Kirk was okay. who he was. Oh, yeah. and, and Kirk was like, oh, "What you gonna get, Reverend?" And I said, I, "I don't know." I said, "This stuff's very expensive." He says, uh, "He says I think I'll take one of them and one of them, one of them." I looked at Kirk. I said, "Well, then I'll take one of them, one of them." One of them. <laughs> so, so our dumb butts was trying to out buy each other, <laughs> and, and my dumb butt won. My bill was ten thousand dollars. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. Stuff. <laughs> Big block Crocs, a fur coat. Oh, they got it. <laughs> That's what he had in his closet when I met him. They and I was out. like, uh, we're going shopping. <laughs> <laughs> and so like, when I met Lynn, when I met Lynn, uh, when I met Lynn, she came into the closet it, it, and uh, when we first came over to the house in Vegas, the house, and uh, I was showing her the house and everything, trying to, you know, get her to fall in love with me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And so she looked in the closet. She's like, whose clothes are these? I said, I said, Those are my clothes. She said, you dress like that. You dress like my daddy. Said, no, my daddy dressed better than that. So, so she said, I had nine pairs of crocodiles and yeah. mustard color suits and olive my, color oh, my, suits. Oh. And, Blue. The, the stuff Claude has in his closet. I have. <laughs> Detroit. Byron said, like we did when we shopped in Chicago after the Oprah oh, show. Yes. So Lynn, Lynn has come in not only to change <laughs> my personal aesthetics, but she's elevated everything in my work. I mean, the way yeah. it, it looks, the feel, the the quality, the casting, everything. She's always in my ear and yeah. always pushing us forward. So, you know. The, yeah, you guys do a great job yeah. together. Yeah. You gotta Thank compliment you. And, and, and work together to do some great things. Because I mean, Lynn, you, I didn't realize that you were a producer yourself. Like, uh, it, uh, may, were you a producer then when we met you too? No, I, I David and I met, I was a senior in college when we met. And uh, you know, yeah, so I graduated from college that summer. David and I met. Three months later, we were engaged. The next year, we got married. That summer, that's I right. You know, don't play around. Just get it done. Hello. Just get it done. Hello. That year, that summer, I graduated from college. We had gotten married, and I had company managed my first forty city tour. That's how that happened. I wasn't a company manager. I wasn't. You know, doing that, but yeah. I always had a love of the arts. I did study the arts. I was in drama, and I graduated with an English major. And so um, I just, wow. so we, well, just how women are. When we step yes. into a situation, we want to make it better. We do what yeah. we got to do. Yeah. And it was my thing. I did study business was I wanted to elevate 
the play circuit and organize everything. Yeah. You know, I wanted yes. us in better hotels. I wanted um, the accommodations to be better across the board for the cast. Yeah. I wanted it to be organized when we're talking about comp tickets and all these different things because that's really what it is at the end of the day. We're, we're trying to set up organizations so we can spend the time promoting and making the yeah. best play that could possibly be done. Well, you know right. the place, right. the, the name of my production company was Wing and a Prayer Productions. Look, as God says, He helps those who help themselves, and He needs some help. We we have the same dynamic as husband and wife, and we found that it's not always easy, and it's not always easy to turn on and off the hat. And also yeah. for a woman, Lynn, um, when you're in a position of power and when you're out there, you're a producer, that's a position of power. Right. How have you guys worked that out? I mean, thank God you're still married. We, you know, we've been married now 40 years. 40 years, yeah. How, oh. how is that uh, working for you? And, you're, and you have a little boy now? And, oh. Well, look, to be honest, you know, it's tough. It's tough yeah. sometimes. And, you know, it's been 22 years now, but I think the one thing that does bring us back to center is we both want the same things. Yes. Now, we get on each other's nerves, yes. and I need to take a separate car to the theater because I need to go <laughs> there. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Set. You know what I mean? Because yeah. we need our own time to yeah. figure out what our day is going to be like, our own time to figure out how we're going to handle right. the situation. And um and plus he's an artist as well. So yes. 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 I for Claude and I, I know people come up to us a lot of times and say, Oh, we want to be a power like a couple like you and I'm thinking, baby. Yeah, baby. There you go. <laughs> it, is, it is it is always uh, you know, when you work together, you live together, you love together, you dream together. Yeah. David so, Mann Jr. just came on. Yes. Who? David Mann Jr. Oh, Hi. what's up? What's up? Tell your daddy I said what's up and, and, and Bootsy is on. Uh, Maurice Wilkes have played Mother Butler, and he say she say one my yeah, my best best, best friend. friend. Yes. Uh, but um, uh, and I saw Alexis Field. What's up? What's up, Alexis? Uh, all when you, say, up when you work together said, hey. and when you live together. Yeah, and so and so what, what happens is you know, it's you sometimes just need you 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 want so much for each other and the best, and sometimes. You you you're like this, you know, and and it's like yeah. that Rubik's cube. You know, there's this beautiful Rubik's cube there, and all the colors fit. But during the course of the business and life, it gets all jumbled up, and you just yeah. gotta figure out get back. How can we put this Rubik's <laughs> cube so we're in harmony again? And, yeah. and and for my my thing was as a as a man, you're in the business before you think you know every damn thing. Yeah. You yeah. want to fight for the bucket yeah. system. You want to fight, fight it. And, um, the, you know, the best thing, this woman has always had my back. She's always, her intention was always to elevate everything that, that, that I did. So once I learned how to get out of my own way, yes. uh, which I, I'm yes. never going to lay over and play dead. Because you know, well, I, I, <laughs> well, I, I got one too. You know, yeah, but it's a blessing. It's, it's a blessing, and it's not easy. Um, but if it was, everyone would be doing it. But when people are aligned with their intentions, and we want the same, she wants the very best for me. I want the very best for her. We want the very, very best for each other. When, when that is the foundation at the end of the day, then you can work through all the other. Um, right, right. But it is an extra added component. Yeah, I think the only difficulty. Kevin is Bond. Yeah, Bond. Bond is yeah. I think the only house. difficulty sometimes can be the fact that you it's it's the perception outside of it because when you have your husband or your wife with you sometimes people judge and you they want to punish you for the fact that you're married or you're together you have someone mm. related to you in your family in your business 
And I don't think that's a fair assessment. You know, a lot of times people would try to view me as like the plus one or the yeah. must that's hire. That's really not that and intelligent. Not, and you're yeah, just there. exactly. Right. And I don't think that's really fair. You know, when we worked in Europe doing the film, you know, they encourage, they have generation after generation of craftsmanship, of craftsmanship and of people that, in the family, you know, it's like six generations of second, you know, assistant directors or six wow. generations of yeah. cinematographers, and they encourage that. So people on our set, it's often a son, a daughter and a son, mm. you know, working or, together. Yeah, yeah, working together. And it's not punished. And I feel like here, sometimes you're punished for the fact that you're coming in together as a husband and wife or a team. And, and they're like, is she really working? Does she really know what she's talking about? And right. so it took a lot for me to change that perception. And, yes. you know, worked in my father's business growing up. All of us did. And that is what helped me have the sensibility that I have and have a best oh, interest. Okay. In That's business, excellent. You know? So, yeah. um, But you're I think in the I, room. You yes. guys are in a place. That's why we're all so proud. We're living mm -hmm. vicariously in some ways um, mm -hmm. because you're there now in that room. I mean, you're with Netflix. You produce with Netflix. What was the show you had produced? It was another Christmas movie, wasn't right. it? Yeah. 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 El Camino Christmas with El Camino Ted Christmas, yeah. wrote Hidden Figures. He's a good friend of ours. Yeah, so yeah, he okay. wrote that film. And wrote and directed, wrote and directed, yeah. and directed Hidden Figures. He wrote yeah. and directed Hidden Figures. Oh, love that film brought us into a film that he wrote called El Camino Christmas because he's friends with Dave. He's like, you know, Dave, I want you to direct that one, let to produce it. It's going to be great. It was the only film I've ever directed that I didn't write. Yeah. But Ted is such a oh. of a and, and just a beast of a brother. That, yeah, that and, and, and I wanted to explore. I had never done subject matter that was a little racier and language that was a little bit racier. OK, um, OK. Uh, being married to Lynn and her family, I'm used to racy language. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my family. Baby. <laughs> right. you know, my grandmother will cut you listen, out. Listen, listen, listen. We really have an F-bomb really with breakfast in the morning. You <laughs> it's just, you know, it's, 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 it's like salt. <laughs> but, but anyway. <laughs> anyway. David, <laughs> David, you but, been known um, for really doing morality plays, I call them. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. like Shakespearean ap approach. I mean, all this stuff was going through my head where you've got right. the comedic value that Shakespeare had for a certain set of people. Yeah. But then you always have people who are going through something. Wow. And, and those that aren't doing right pay a price. And, and you see that in Jingle Jangle. It's, it's that story that the Talbots tell. I'm, and I mean, David, when did you start writing? Have you, were you a kid writing stories? Well, but it, going on? for me, just like, just like you and like, you know, a lot of people, it's growing up in the church. It's, it's, yeah. um, it's, it's growing up as a young boy in the church. And I'm, that's when I fell in love with words because I watched the word of God. My great, great grandmother, Annie Mae Woods, tell these stories. My uncle, Ronald Woods. Mm -hmm. I watch them, the uh, people come in alcoholics and, and mm. drug users and, 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 and they leave out, they listen to these words, these words, these stories. It touched people and changed people's lives and they can go out a different way. So I was always a fan of what words did and their power and how they touch people and change people's lives. And then there's no better theater than the black church. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's the best comedy ever is <laughs> in them store from black churches. You know. And but, now with the internet, COVID, social networking, the housewives, this and that, it has just blossomed even more in the stories that you can tell, it seems like. Yeah, it, it has, but you know, I, 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 the experience working with Ted and El Camino Christmas was really uh, profound for me because Ted is also um, um, from a similar background, um, Catholic <laughs> background. Heavily, his his parents, his mo mo I believe mother, his mother, Definitely. and uh, but he's Italian, which means f bombs are like hello. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but, so, <laughs> but it helped me to understand that the language wasn't, it was the intention. And
And so then that, that, that detached me from having these issues with language because at the end of the day, what was the intention? What was the heart? What was the purpose to get the point you're yeah. trying to get through? So at El Camino uh, Christmas, um, it, it, one, it was, it was racy. It was an R movie. It was, um, but it's a beautiful movie full of heart. But it had, for the first time, I was directing a uh, non-black cast. You know, it was it was Jessica Alba, Tim That's Allen, uh, Kurt, Kurt, uh, Wood. Uh, Kurt Wood Smith, Dax yeah. Shepard, um, yeah. and, and Michelle Milet. And and I just had a great time. And one of the biggest thing, Luke, Luke, Luke Grimes, but the biggest thing at the premiere for um, the drive in premiere for um, Jingle, Jingle Jangle, I invited Tim Allen. That's 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 my buddy. So so I invited Tim Allen. Look at and, you. Yeah, the Santa Claus. And, and Tim texts yeah, me. Santa he Santa says, Claus. he says, he says, David, it's simply wonderful. He said, you made this old vanilla Santa believe again. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you know, yeah. it, it's, yeah. I love Tim Allen. I mean, but, yeah. but, you know, he was there with his family. And what the experience of El Camino Christmas and Jingle Jangle has done, it's just, it, it lets you know that this is a world community. As much as I love right. okay. uh, telling stories for Chicago and Atlanta and DC yeah. and, and Detroit. And I will always love that. But the world um, wants to yeah. hear these stories too. Yeah. And, and, and that's what this experience has allowed us to do is connect with people around this globe yeah. with the story. Yeah. And these are universal messages, you know, the messages yeah. of hope and belief and forgiveness. You know, we all want the same things at the end of the yeah. day. Right. And it, we need to show, we just need the opportunity to showcase ourselves wanting those things. We want the same opportunities. Absolutely. And this film, yeah. So this film in particular, you know, translated in 39 languages. You know, really? in 132 countries. You know, yeah. so we're, I'm watching 192 countries. So I'm watching the film in Mandarin Chinese. Mandarin right. Chinese. In wow. Hindi, in Hebrew. I'm watching it. They're singing the songs wow. in these languages. And they are loving it just as much as we do and the people oh, okay. in the States do. So it's pretty profound to show. Yeah. You know, in Africa, in Ghana, yeah. they're yeah. blowing up because of yeah. the Afro beats and the snowball song. Oh, but, right. oh, and I got to say this, yeah, um, yeah. we haven't talked in a long time, and I don't want to cry, but yeah. you guys are traveling in high cotton now, yeah. and you didn't have to come on here with us, <laughs> and I want to tell you how much I appreciate, appreciate that, because yeah. you y'all don't have to, I mean, you got people like Forrest Whitaker, uh, my, uh, uh, Felicia Rashad, Anika, no, and, you you could have forgotten about all us old people over here, but you haven't, and that's why Amen. We, we're just so proud. And it's I, I just I'm just overwhelmed yeah. with joy for you guys yeah. and how you are. You're traveling in real big cotton now. You, you as I say, you Negroes ain't no joke. Hello, hello. I tell you, you you all are. Thank you. You all are innovators and icons in the business. And my first experience up close and personal with Black Wealth was with you two. <laughs> when we walked in that studio that y'all built $10 million, and your house was the first time when we went over there, we saw a pool that the water didn't stop. And I said to Nikki, I said, where's the water going, Nikki? <laughs>
doll no, to buy for my children. No. There was a little mermaid doll and all that other stuff. But when it went black, there was no doll for me to buy for my daughters. Now I got my hair journey. And she I'm got her 39. Hair. I'm going to be, I'm going to be living in the that, That's for the kid in us all. All yes. the little girls that wanted to see themselves. And that's what that was for the little boys and girls that we all yes. wanted to see ourselves like that in this magical world. And, 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 and keep it and heighten it. You know, someone just put on there square with a possible is simply yes. genius. But yes. when I was writing these formulas, it was the, the circumference of spectacular, the second derivative of sensational, <laughs> the square oh, of impossible. Thing, yes. And it was like, okay, you know, you know, when you're in the zone, and the thing is bigger than you, yeah. and it's really flowing to you and through you, and you just mm -hmm. stay in the zone, and all these yeah. wonderful yeah. things were coming to me, and yeah. the fact that they, they're put out in the world, and yeah. people are responding to them yeah. the way yeah. they are, mm -hmm. it's overwhelming. It's and, still, and still you, know yeah. you, you, what you guys did is, because my father's a software engineer, and worked for TRW, my story time was what you described. The the math, the everything, like sci-fi films, that was that was my experience growing up, which is making me emotional. So you guys put on film a real black father-daughter generational experience. And when you we can watch it and and see a black man doing math and oh, yeah. science and everything. So we still have that guy. It's, you guys, you guys showed black excellence more than what we usually are able to see on TV. And I just want to say thank you again because that was my father. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, well, I'll tell you this: we have that in common because my father was the first black optometrist licensed in the state of Nevada, and we wow. had really I was a daddy's girl, and it's that same relationship. So I understand exactly the sciences and stuff were part of my my um experience growing up and yes. you know david always talking it's like that father-daughter experience yeah. you know is so important you know it and is. i lost him a few years ago and this oh, was an amazing way to honor him and his legacy yes. as well yeah. yes yes we're so grateful and you talk about where we're moving it it is our audience john gray john gray <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. It's our audience and it's you guys that have supported us over the years that have helped us get to here because you valid you valued our stories, you validated our stories, and it made it possible for us to elevate what the stories that we were telling in this way. So we <laughs> I gotta tell you a story by John Gray. Yes. <laughs> so, so so I just want to thank everyone for that and you, Vicky, too. I mean, look, I, I met Beyonce because of you, Vicky. Remember that album, His Woman, His Wife? Yes. And Tony Shaw came in the studio. Yes. And so yes. you remember that? So yes, there's so many pathways that we all have traveled through to get to here. And it's, it's and we're never going to forget where we came from. And we're always going to stay in touch and connected with everyone that has helped us. That's why you always be successful. Right. Because well, we it, are going to watch everything. And I know everybody here, yeah, everything, yeah. because we feel like it's ours. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was, it was, but it was, it was, it was, it was, it you know, it's but, just but, quality. Quality. It's just but, quality. And it's yeah. good work. And, and that even makes it even better. And we're not just doing because yeah. he's black. No. He's doing good work. And I mean, you've got people like um, Forrest Whitaker, Oscar Award winner. But, but I tell you, I tell Forrest you, before Whitaker. I was able to, the talent, the level of talent, and I know, I'm so, you know, John Gray just, man, and I've been knowing John <laughs> for 20, 20 years. Um, Donald Lawrence called me. Um, John, what was the, oh, the beautiful singer out of Ohio who was your friend, but uh, so, so Donald called me about a singer to be in Lord Have Mercy, and Donald then yeah. Donald Lawrence, Lawrence who was like, th that's that's like my my yeah. big brother. That's my this. first baby. That's my first oh, baby. Oh, Donald mm -hmm. Lawrence is is, is everything. Good that's my brother. Good brother. But, but but Donald called and said, uh, "There's John John Gray, who's a good great singer." 
and out of there. So we flew John out from uh, uh, out of Ohio, some part of Cincinnati or somewhere in Ohio. And John Dion, Dion. from where? Dion, Dion Rose, Dion Rose, yeah. who's a brilliant singer. But Dion called me up and said, um, "It said, what about John? So we flew John out, and that's how he got out of Ohio and was in the tour with Kirk Franklin. And then when the play, and John killed that tour. He killed the, uh, yeah. the, the role Cincinnati. in Cincinnati. And then, and then when the tour was over, Al said, hey, uh, <laughs> yes. think we gonna tour anymore? Uh, I think we gonna do some other things. Yes. And I said, what things? He said, you'll hear about them. And so he said, he, he said, I'm gonna tell you, Three, four words. He said, "The tour of life." Yeah, okay. and, oh, and right. Al put together the tour of life with Kirk. He came right off of he say she say with Kirk, with Big Fred Hammond, who's a yeah, beast, yeah. and Yolanda Adams, Yolanda. and John. And they said they were going to make it part play, part concert. Yes, and right, John yeah. came out there, and the rest is history. So when I just, yeah. I just want to say about John that that when Our I one. when I see him doing his thing. And at the level that he's on, just so very proud. Very high so we had a great time. <laughs> we love you. Yeah. Yeah. When I think of all the people that were right. with us and were yeah. young at the time, and what you guys are doing now, you, you've also, yeah, you've worked with Key. What, what I always call it Key. And yep, Key and Michael Key, Key. and Key. Michael Key. 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 Post. Felicia Rashad, we we right. Ricky Martin is doing the voice Ricky of the character. Ricky Martin, I didn't, uh, Ricky Martin, that was, that was interesting. I like it. John Legend. John I mean, Legend, John Legend yeah. wrote wrote one of the songs it, in there called "Make It Work." Philip Lawrence, who's an amazing songwriter, who wrote yes, all yes. of the other songs, yes, and he's yes. written all the hits with Bruno Mars. Yeah, I was gonna and, say with Bruno Mars, yes. 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 And what about yes. the beautiful little girl that was Oh, Journey. Oh, Madeline, Madeline Mills. Madeline Mills. Ma Madeline, oh, we, what we a, did a beautiful little girl and what a voice. Yeah. What a voice. We did this worldwide uh, search for, for her. We oh, did it in John and, and Netflix. And, and, and Madeline came in to not audition for the role. She came in to claim what was hers because that awesome. little girl. That's right. Yes, she did. <laughs> of everything. Yes, she that is. little yes. girl is a burst of everything. Yes. Yes. And she just stole my heart. I mean, I love that little She's girl. Right there. Ed amazing. Roebuck. Do you remember Ed Roebuck? He used to be Ed! Ed. Ed. Yes. Ed! He said you all have come a we long love Ed. I'm going to tell you a story of Ed. Ed <laughs> is, of course, was, was working with um, with Nancy Wilson and, yeah. of course, Ed, Ed Hawkins. So on Ed, um, Edwin Hawkins' uh, 60th birthday, I fly into uh, Oakland to help him celebrate it. And sitting next to me, the chair pulls up and says, I, I'm here and I'm, I'm eating the food. And someone says, do you, um, is this chair taken? Do you mind? And I look over my shoulder and it's Nancy Wilson. And I said, yeah. I said, I said, uh, I said, no, it's not. She said, do you mind if I sit here? I said, Miss Wilson, I would be honored. And so we sat there, we talked the whole time, and she wrote me at the end of the day, she says, I got something for you, she was leaving, she wrote me a note, which I have it upstairs in my office, it says, wow. from Nancy, I would love to be your dinner date anytime. And this is, and, and this is oh, 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 because of Ed Roba. Uh, so. And Ed introduced us to Dwayne, God rest his soul, who did yes. the set design Dwayne for Porter. Dwayne Porter, who did the set design for his woman, his uh, for no. his for his woman, his wife. Yes. Yeah, but love makes things happen. And so. love makes things happen. Yes, and right, so right. Ed's been such a dear friend for years. Yes. So we love you, Ed. Yes, yeah, I mean, do. you got some of your wow. folks here right now. Yeah, the reunion. We're, uh, are, are there any questions? You want to take some questions yeah. from? Yeah, oh, and we'd love to get some of their questions. And I, I've got a, another question too. But yes, we love your questions, um, guys. How, how did you come up with people speaking British English and American English? all at the same time and it making sense i'm like this guy is from england and this guy is african-american and they are communicating with each other and i'm having a whole experience here you know for 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 me 
when you when you just do films in the states and you just Lynn travels, she would travel without me. I would always say I got to work. She's like, all right, I'm going. I'm in Rome. I'm in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsessed with Lynn. I'm obsessed with Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> but but we would uh, when you're just in the states, you think that you're in a bubble, and you think that um, it's just kind of everything is just a, a black thing or, or a white thing, and you don't really understand it's a world thing. Yeah. And so when when, when I when I when Lynn finally convinced me for my 50th birthday, she took me to uh, Paris because I told her she said, "Where do you want to go for your 50s?" I said. I want to go to Paris. I think I want to have dinner at the Eiffel Tower. So she flew me out the night before. And for, so for my 50th birthday, we had dinner on top of the Eiffel Tower. Wow. And it's my first time I'd ever been out of the country. Really? First time I'd ever country. been out of the country. Yeah, yeah. You know, growing up in D.C. In, in, in the black church, the biggest event was going up to the outlets in Richmond. Oh, we're going to go to the outlets. <laughs> Okay. You lived in D.C., you grew up in D.C., you never went to New York? No, the outlets yeah. on, so the, on, the, on, the, on the church bus, when the mothers would blow up that bus, <laughs> that back, that one bathroom, and you saw the church mothers <laughs> headed back there, and you were like, Lord, we're going to be in trouble. And, oh and when they blew up that bus, your tears, your, you were crying. <laughs> the fumes that were in that bus. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. But 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 when I went when I got a chance to travel um when we went to London and I went shopping every all, all the stores that I went in in Paris they were playing soul music. Yeah. Black soul music. They were playing hip hop music. And when I went up to the stores in London in the stores it was Cube on a t-shirt, Ice Cube and Snoop yeah. and Biggie yeah. and Pop yeah. and people's hats were and the jeans were sagging and they were in Jordans and I said, I said, wait a second. You said well, that. you have told me that mm -hmm. our culture, I, I, we don't travel, is is yeah. not true because everybody travels to black culture around the world. I call Cube up. I swear, I call Cube up like you. We can make some money now. If you send me a box of t-shirts. <laughs> 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 you can make a here. <laughs> but, but you get a chance to you get a chance to see how connected we are um more connected than not and so when it was time to shoot here in london and they said where do you want to shoot uh good friends kwame parker and nick nesbitt said look we can shoot in toronto we can shoot in atlanta montreal. we can shoot in montreal or, we, London. or London. And I said, London. Because we had just got back. And so we went so there. So some of that was shot in London? Yeah. It was all, all of it. All of it. All all of it. All we we lived in London for eight months. We were there for a year. Yeah. Wow. You know, Chanel from Trinity 5 7 mm -hmm. it have, was picked by Tina Turner to play Tina Turner in London. In you, the West End. Well, I West saw her then. I went and saw the show in London. I didn't know that was her. Oh, wow. That oh, you was, did it. That was That's Chanel. Hey. She's about to start. And she's getting ready yeah. to do it. Oh, she's it. about to start now? OK, so no, I haven't seen no, it. No, no, she, no, she, she, she so did it before. No, 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 she, she's this doing is her it in London time. now. Oh, 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 no, 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 this yeah. is her first season. season. Yeah, this is her first yeah. season. Oh. And COVID oh, got it, got it. it yeah, up. So it's still there in London. Yeah, but yeah, the yeah. one who right. played yeah. in London from DC, she's in. Oh, London. that's amazing. Yes. Yeah, right, a right. Small world. It's a small world. <laughs> All of us. You know, how could we have known what God had ready for us as we were just hustling, doing our thing? Um, when, yeah. when I look at some of the IGs that Kirk and Kirk has sent me, Kirk Franklin, who's just hey, brilliant. Muggy. He sent me videos of him across the globe just yeah. singing and people singing those songs. Yeah. I mean, the global impact of music, of, of, of ministry, American, of the yeah. message, it's just, it's under, it's underrated, the, our global impact. Mm -hmm. And, and I mean, yeah. look at the songs that, that gospel centric, all those songs that are around yeah. the world. Yeah. Around the world. Yeah. All, all Kirk has to do is play them first chords of silver and gold. Dun, 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 That's dun, That's right. Gold. That's right. Yes. But, That's right. but it's changing the Doug world. Lawrence all over the world. Yeah. yeah. We were really doing things that I don't think I got it all. But now, I mean, like I said, it's your turn. You, you guys are doing things on a whole different level. And how, how did you get in there 
there with Netflix in the first place and be able to get a, I hope they're giving you a big production Hello. deal or something. Well, well, from your lips, your, from your <laughs> lips. <laughs> okay, we're we're praying praying it. All right, you. Da David, David always is about elevating the work. And yeah. one thing that he can do, he can outright anybody. Hello. And he works and works and works on that. And people always ask, because it's not an overnight thing, but he started doing even more research and letting, allowing himself to be influenced by other things. And he's a phenomenal writer. And he always says, you know, if he writes it, they will come. It's the script that they say that they see first. You know, when Felicia Rashad saw that script, you ask her, she, she said, why did you want to do it? She said the writing, you know, wow. force with the wow. it's the writing. And then we, if we can get that story on point, the rest of it, we can build. You know Come what on, I mean? Man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. We don't mess around and make a baby tonight. You talk to that good talk. <laughs> 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 that's your bride or die. That, that, that is. That is. You're red hair. You're red hair. Say one. Say one. What are you talking about? My goodness. So then, so you got there with. We, we're trying to figure out this this Netflix story now. Okay, well, so I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you that 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 net. You said briefly. Briefly, because David gonna go into ten other stories like my. <laughs> <laughs> He's a story. But we guy. love him though. He's when he writes time. them out, they're so good. When she met me and saw my closet, she should have known I was a daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Never. My daddy dressed better than you. Never. <laughs> <laughs> but but we Thank we. You. After after um, we did El Camino Christmas, I went up, um, had a general meeting with uh, the, the head of uh, Netflix film, Scott Stuber, mm -hmm. and uh, the senior exec there, uh, Nick Nesbitt. And we sat uh, in a room, and I, I simply told him that um, um, every holiday season, we sit down as a family, as all black families do. We, 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 we have some good food, we get a little drink in us, we play some spades, we talk some trash, <laughs> and, then, and, then we, and then we turn on the television, and I said, there's nothing for us to watch that looks like us. There's no one on, the, on any of the, the, the shows that look like us, and we love them, but we would like to see, see ourselves exactly. represented. And exactly. I said, and if, I'm, if I'm feeling that way with a little boy um, and, and my family, how many other families like that? And Scott Stewart said, I never thought about that. We need to do something about that. Yeah. And, yes. and, and, and Nick, um, I went and pitched it in a room to Nick Nesbitt the next week and then he bought it in a room and, um, and gave us the support, um, Nick Nesbitt, Jen Silver, Kwame Parker, Amy yeah. Dunning, yeah. Scott yeah. Stuber, they, the, the Netflix team wrapped yeah. their arms around us because they mm -hmm. understood they're a global brand. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They understood what the world looks like. In, yes. in the world it's of color, yes. <laughs> you yes. know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. And, and, living color. And, yeah, and they put their money where their mouth is and, and gave me all the tools I had never, I was used to people saying, you know, you got $2. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Buy one, get one free. The real, the also thinking of that, the experience that they had with him on El Camino Christmas, it was a good experience. Yeah. So okay. they wanted to do it again. Yes. So you always have Make your experiences a experience because you never know what that's going to lead to. Yeah, your that's talent right. will take you. Your, your talent will take you places that your character will keep you from. Ooh. It's a lot of people don't really understand that. Yeah. And that's and right. yes, you can know everything about the camera. You can know about the script, but then your your character is raggedy. Nobody that's wants right. to work. Yeah. With you. Nobody so wants to work with you. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so we were likable, <laughs> you know? and, and you have to be, and that wasn't even your 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 that work that first was. And and that's what people a lot of times they don't want to work because they can't shine. But it's we've had people like yourself on because of relationships, and we try to be sincere and work them, be honest, yes. and, and and just good people mm -hmm. and. You know, and it, and it does make a difference. But th okay. there's another question I have too, and I'm and I'm. Um, oh, someone did ask earlier, so I don't want to forget that. How long did production take? That was John Gray. That was John Gray. Yeah, I was very well. Did it there a year? 
Like, just to shoot it, it was a 70... 70 days. 70 days shoot to shoot the film in and, London. And we were living there five months before we even For started shooting. For pre-production. Wow. For pre-production. Pre I, 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 I sold it in November of 2017 to Netflix. Mm. Okay. So this is a little over three years all in. We, wow. we six months. And your son, love. did he go to school there? Or? Oh, yeah. He w he went to a British school. I said, if we're going to do it, let's have Good the experience. Yeah. He had the little, yeah. the little yeah. Harry Potter yeah. uniform. We used to yeah. call him Larry Potter. He's <laughs> looking like Larry Potter. <laughs> and he even gained an accent. He oh, really? Yeah, he was only sick. When we oh, went, six. Six words, he, learned. he was saying the trunk was the boot. He yeah, was saying he rubbish. The boot. Oh, the, the boot. boot. Okay, rubbish. The trunk. okay. He, he was counting in pence and, yeah. and you know, because we're paying in pence. You know, yeah. And, oh and, and pounds and all that stuff. So <laughs> now okay, we have okay. that are in London that are, that are, you know, calling and emailing and saying, Elias, we saw Jingle Jangle. We love Jingle Jangle. We love Jingle Jangle. <laughs> jingle jangle. <laughs> jingle jangle. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So in, one the, in one of the most amazing experiences for me growing up, um, you know, like most people's stories are sent in a single parented households, uh, you know, mom, uh, Diane Harris raised my brother and I, uh, but so we went, we took a weekend trip to Paris while we were out there. And so we bought the scooter. So he's riding up the, the train. The yeah, yeah. And so we, we, um, oh, yeah. we, we go to the shops and we bring the scooter and Elias and I are riding scooters uh, up the champs to let's say towards the Champs Elysees. Champs Elysees. Or the Arc de Triomphe. And I said, Arc de Triomphe. Look at that. Yeah. Look, look, look at, at look that. Yeah, look you know, at it's, 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 it's just, um, it's just, I mean, I was just in tears and, you know, but to have this experience with my son. Yeah. 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 Um, and to be able to share that with my son, you yeah. know, I'm like, that's triumph. That's yeah. the arc of triumph. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, God. It, it's, yeah. it's being in your children's lives, exposing them to opportunities right. that you not have been increasing uh, their scope. Yeah. You know, that's that's the triumph. That's the legacy yeah. of what yeah. the arts have We're provided exposed. me. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and, and you all is and you all yeah. as well. You know. Yeah. yeah. So tell me, beautiful. thank you. Tell me about. The lady that was the love interest of Horse oh. Whitaker, she was it. She was oh. the show for me. She was Lisa oh, Davina yeah. Phillips. She'd never done a film before. She really? actually came in and just worked, and she's done theater. She, she, she's, she's amazing a British, theater. She's a British, British, a British, theater, British actress. theater actress. And that's one she of the things that the show. She stole it, right? She said, yes, yes. And not only that, I mean, that's one thing that we're always so grateful to do is to be able to have amazing legends like Felicia yes. Rashad and Forrest yes. Whitaker exactly. and then great new talent. We did. Uh, yeah, yes. Great new talent. Yeah. It was yeah. Lisa Davina Phillip. It was Kieran Dyer who played yes. Edison. Okay. Oh, yes. He came out an audition for his birthday. That was oh. his birthday present. Oh, never did a movie. Cute. He got a movie for his birthday. N never acted. Yeah. Never he got a movie. <laughs> got wow. a movie for his and Sharon Rose and 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 Justin and oh Sharon was, Sharon Rose who plays, plays Joanne. Joanne. She okay. uh, we saw her in Hamilton there in London. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. That woman can blow. Oh, you her heard face her off. singing in, yeah. in the film. Those notes yeah. that she hits. That woman can blow Phenomenal. her face off. Phenomenal. Wow. And, and the voice well, those of guys in the background doing oh, the duo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, okay, so the guy with the glasses, the guy with the glasses that was doing the background, that's Philip Lawrence, the writer oh, of the writer of the songs. Oh, oh okay. So you can oh, okay. Well, I tell you, that floored me, and the other yeah. big thing that floored <laughs> me that made me cry. We were just crying. We go, oh, look at that. Crying, thing. just crying. Is the hair, honey. Oh. That was all Lynn. Lynn was I Lynn was in my office. Lynn was in my office. I'm trying to set up camera moves and, and oh trying God. to do palettes for the thing. And Lynn was no. like, look at this. I went online and saw this hair. I'm like, Lynn, I'm in the middle of the meeting. Oh, this would be great. Oh, Journey got I got that it. I got it. Was I got it. Was <laughs> 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 I yeah. 
way your hair and Shami's hair is right now. I'm going to be doing that for Christmas. To be able to watch yes. a movie yes. as a black woman with natural hair and yes. get ideas. ideas. That was the whole idea, Vicky, is that we wanted to normalize natural hair. You, you know, we've all had our hair. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we've all had our hair journeys and with yes. the crown act and all these issues that our kids have with wanting to wear their natural hairstyles. It's, it's just not fair. And so yeah. we want to fit in this magical world, highlighting natural hair and the beauty yeah, that we beautiful. all show with our with our fabrics and the gorgeous African prints that we put into uh, the colors. Yes. We, I, I kind of coined this. Me. Afro-Victorian. That's what I'm titled. Yes, Afro-Victorian. Yes, yes, yes. Afro-Victorian. Yes. Afro 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 love it. My mom wanted us to wear the outfits, but with COVID, we didn't know how we could put on yeah, costumes I wasn't putting properly. On no costumes. But we would have got <laughs> all kind of Victorian vibes today. Oh, and yeah. he would have had an Afro. I was going to no, wear a top hat. Yeah. But now, <laughs> we'll do it. We'll do it for New Year. Yes. New Year. We'll you do it like coined it. Afro-Victorian. Afro Afro-Victorian, Afro-Victorian. It really, it, it, it gave honor to, you know, they were in the 18, we were in the 1800s in the, in the film. So that means yeah. everyone was a, a generation removed from Africa. So Lynn came with the idea with Michael Wilkinson, who's a two-time Oscar-nominated yes. British Yes, Chicago yes, yeah. he did the Latin, the Latin film for Disney, right? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, See, yeah. Look, I, I, Oh, yes, oh, oh, yes, Michael, yes. Michael Wilkinson is yes. everything. So everything. He, he came with these amazing um, costumes, Victorian costumes. And Lynn oh. said we should infuse um, African patterns. Uh, yes. in, and so oh. he flew to he flew to different places to get to to get the exact you know authentic oh. patterns. And, it's so Stop. and it's not just your typical kente; it's the proper. No. Kente. no. Yeah. Got, oh, it's from okay. Ghana and Nigeria, just it up. And, just you know. So it, he was he Michael Wilkinson. I had a dream team, you know. You and sure did. Everyone was open to yes. what, how we, I that's wanted this to be, you know, how I wanted this to be, and that's yeah. what was amazing because we wanted something very authentic and unique. Yes. It was. It was well, yeah. there, you know what? We just got a few more minutes. Okay, we got a few more minutes, so we want to talk about. What you got for the future, and then I'm gonna have to call you on the phone sometime, and we're just gonna have to chat. <laughs> yes. Go on for a real. Well, life. those of you that love Jingle Jangle, we have our Jingle Jangle book. Yes. Okay. All right. Where can you get the books? Every, books. Anywhere books are sold, Amazon, Amazon you name it, online. It's in this was Penguin Random House, yes. and it, this was inspired by the song. The square root of possible, which yes. was the song that got me through this movie. Like I needed my square root of possible, and yes. I sung it every day. And yes. so that's inspired this one. So it's a sweet little story, the square root of possible, yes. jingle jangle story. And this one, um, jingle jangle, the invention of Jeronicus Jangle, is a middle grade book for ten and up. And um, actually, it delves more into the story, but I actually had Felicia Rashad. She reads the audio book of this uh, one. Oh, yeah, audio book, can, okay. Yeah, uh, so you can book. find audible.com and on yes. Amazon. Anywhere you put in the books, they'll come up and you can get them great yes, holiday okay. gifts. We're going to yes. get them. So we're going to get those. Yes. On the legacy of Jingle Jangle. Oh, sorry, Claude, what did you say? No, I said we're going to get one, one for our grandsons. Yes, he would yes. love it. And it's just yes. that we want to we wanna expand the universe of Jingle Jangle. We want it yes. to be part of the well, we'll pop. That. It's yes. forever. And so we'll share on the yeah. Instagram as well. Well, I'm afraid we're going to get cut off because at 6 o'clock they knock you off. What, oh, they knock you off. No, no, I just don't. Yeah, she's well, thank you guys. Right. We love you. We love you. So thank you so business. much for coming. Thank uh, you. And, you know, you guys are. I, you know, we could talk all day. I said, yeah. man, I don't know. We'll do another one. We'll, we'll do another one. Like New Year's. Yeah. This sounds like New Year's. But you guys got to, besides the book, Elena Karen is on. Elena just came on and said, congratulations. Yes. What's up? Yeah. So, no, any new films or anything coming down the pipe? We got a few Okay, okay. And we're taking Jingle Jangle to Broadway. Love you, boo. Just so you know. Every year. We want it on the stages all over the world. Right, because the way you filmed it was kind of very adaptable. 
And we want to say the thank theater, you. The theater flows through my bones. Yes, yes, yes it does. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, God. So thank you so much. We love you. Everybody make love sure you, you watch the show again. Watch the show. Check out the show. Ding the on Netflix Check. now. Yes. Yes. Love you. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Love you. Thank you. Hello. Thank you so much for watching Carfittable Talks. Thank you. Please remember to press that like button and we need you to subscribe. And also, leave some comments. We really need to hear from you. Thank you.